So I'm here now with uh, John Lambros. He's a managing director of Savion. He's the head of the digital media business. Um, I wanted to have John describe his business briefly uh, and then ask him a couple questions. John, tell me about Savion. Uh, well, Savion is a growth-focused investment bank. We provide uh, advisory services, both uh, M&A and uh, corporate finance capital raising for companies. Uh, we provide actually services across a bunch of different sectors, including digital media, healthcare, business information, technology, software, etc. cetera. Uh, as you mentioned, I head up our digital media group, and uh, uh, the firm has been around for about four years, and we've built a very, very good position within the digital media space. We recognized the opportunity in online advertising about four years ago. I, my, my background, actually, I, I was running a broadband technology company oh, really? that had uh, spent a bit of time looking at kind of the mo new models evolving in online advertising. And when I when I sold that firm and joined up with Savvy, and I really recognized that, that what was you know, kind of happening in the online world was fundamentally changing the way that advertisers and marketers were going were to be able to reach consumers. And being able to join Savvy in Inception as a kind of founder um, and really kind of build the culture of our firm, but also be able to focus on you know, entrepreneurs and growth companies uh, has been a big part of uh, what we've built at the business. Um, but we continue to continue to grow and we've, we've been very successful with a lot of lar large capital raises for companies like uh, Daytran Media, sure. um, Affinity Direct, uh, Reach Local, Whitepages.com, uh, to name just a few. And on the M&A side, uh, we, uh, we uh, represented Apollo in the acquisition of Aptimus and uh, recently sold Course Advisor to the Washington Post companies and, um, and Jumpstart to Lagardere. So we've, we really know the, the vertical marketplace pretty well, the lead gen uh, space pretty well, and, and have, have, uh, have spent a lot of time in this category. Great. Well, so, so you're obviously here at AdTech, and, and you've been here probably the last couple of years. Um, it, keeps, you know, it keeps getting bigger. Yeah, yeah. I, I keep thinking that the that I'm going to come here someday, and, and it's just going to be in a small room. But um, you know, I think uh, when I come to AdTech, it's um, to me it's just a reminder of how uh, how much opportunity there is to be in online advertising in the shadow of Google. Uh, you know, all the companies here there. And probably half the companies here were started uh, less than four or five years ago. Many of them, are, almost all of them, are profitable, and uh, and all doing something very different. And it's very encouraging to me to see this kind of growth, especially when you realize that online advertising still today is only about four percent of the total ad budget of uh, of most uh, you know of, of of any number I see in terms of the size of the ad market. Exactly. It's, so you know that 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 to me is a probably one of the most telling and optimistic signs of. Of, of the sustainability of this marketplace. Now, not every company is thinking about the long term because this market is also very dynamic and fluid and, and changes rapidly. And so management teams need to really be able to adopt pretty quickly. But, you know, every, every it's not even every year, it's every six months that this event kind of convenes, it just gets bigger and bigger. There are more and more interesting companies doing more stuff. Right, right. Well, so, so actually that's a sort of a good segue to my next question about, um, you know, where do you where do you see the industry in you know four or five years? Where do you see it evolving to? Well, you know, I, you know, at one level, I, I think the brands have really yet to commit significant capital to online, and I think that's the transition we're going through now. And when I think about everything from customer acquisition to uh, brand marketing in general, we're still really at the tip of the iceberg in terms of what they're really going to demand from their partners, whether it's agencies or technology companies really helping them. And I, you know, I think that the way brands uh, will be spending money online in two or three years will be very different from how they're doing it today. Right. I think there will be a performance-based component to it. I think there will be a uh, lead generation component to it. I think that um, it won't, you know, that you'll have hybrid, you know, CPM type models and, um, and you'll be able to do a tremendous amount of targeting, both demographic, ge geographic, uh, behavioral, and so uh, you know I don't I don't really have a, a definitive crystal ball in terms of where I think companies need to be positioned, but I think ultimately the quality of data, the quality of the uh, connection to the consumer, um, the uh, the creativity behind how you capture the consumer's attention are all extremely important, and I think we're still really in the very very early innings of all that innovation. So. That's kind of, I, I think ultimately though, you know, this industry really grew up on the back of direct response marketing, sure, sure. which is a, you know, a very, very powerful uh, uh, advertising and marketing forum that I don't think a lot of people, you know, prior to this web 2.0 gave a lot of credit to. I mean, exactly. it's been a very, yeah. very strong under, 
underlying component of the overall marketing landscape, the internet is kind of taking it to a new level, to a new level of sophistication. And frankly, I think a lot of brands are going to get more into direct response marketing as well. But at the same time, I think the direct response marketers are going to have to evolve and figure out how to handle big brands exactly. like Procter & Gamble, exactly. like yeah. HP, yeah. which has not been their typical bread and butter. Right. right. Well, listen, thanks so much for taking the time. I want to make sure everybody understood uh, the, the, uh, ad or the website, the address. It's so the website is uh, www.savian.com. That's S-A-V-V-I-A-N.com. And uh, uh, I believe my email address is actually on that website, okay. so feel free to drop me an email. Okay, great. Okay. Thanks so much for your yeah, time. No All right.